Hi, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another Tai Chi session for you to follow at home. Um... <sighs> <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and we're here with another Tai Chi session for you to follow along at home to keep you fit and active. It's great for beginners and seniors and today I'm joined by one of my class regulars called Nell. Hi. Uh, so how long have you been coming to Tai Chi class? Uh, six years now, in, yep. including some online in lockdown, which was really, really helpful. Yes, excellent. And um, what benefits or why do you enjoy Tai Chi as exercise? Uh, I think it's great. It, it gets you moving, yep. um, you gets you stretching. Uh, considering it's low impact and apparently low effort, you seem to do an awful lot. Yeah. And yep. it's particularly good for balance. Yeah. Which for me is really important. That's yep. one of my main reasons for wanting to do Chai Tea is yep. to improve that. Yeah. And it's very beneficial, I think. Yeah, and because balance is really, really important as we age. It's gonna help us in our everyday activities. So it's one of the things that a lot of people come to class for, to be honest. Um so yeah, so we're gonna do some very low impact. Nice slow exercise, we're going to use our legs, it's going to help with your balance. Think about your posture while you're doing it, just keep everything well within your comfort zone. So let's get started. We're going to start with a warm up, so feet hip width apart, nice and neutral posture and we're just going to shoulder roll. Change direction. Bend on our knees and we'll do our knocking on the door. So turning the waist just as far as we can. Absolutely freely. And just loosening the body and warming up. centre here, keeping our knees bent and hands on our hips, let's do our hip circles. And changing direction. So we're going to start with our separating the clouds, so again, feet hip width apart, we're going to bring our hands crossed at the wrists and then we're bringing them high and we're opening out as if we're separating the clouds and bringing the knees up down. So nice big breath in as we come high. Keeping the 
to our bow stance, so heel toe forwards into your bow stance and we're just going to rock back the body weight backwards and forwards, so just keeping it a nice slow transfer of weight and still keeping the posture nice and tall and then we're going to add some arms, so we're going to hold a small G ball and we're going to push forwards and then go round in a big circle. Connected mind to body, we're following the ball. And this time we we'll step in and we can repeat that on the other side. So heel toe into our bow stance. <clears throat> nice posture. <laughs> ah, we're rocking backwards and forwards, so nice and slow, keeping the posture nice and tall. Yeah, good. And we'll let's add our arms, so a little small chi ball, we're pushing forwards and going round in a big circle. Okay, and we've got 
big beach ball and the fish in it is ah let's keep going with that so it's sometimes known as undulating waves like a big wave motion So we can do the whole thing together. So heel toe, straight the horse into your ward off, reaching high all the way around. Pushing forwards. And bring this front hand round. Yeah, good. Let's do one more on this side. Beach ball in and pushing it forwards, and then just doing a few more of these. So nice rhythmic flow on the hands, feeling the flow. to put it all together so holding our ball so we're heel toe forward off reach high Step wide into our horse stand 
hands and we're going to twist and push our core palms. So we're, we're pushing across. <laughs> Couldn't get my words out there. That happens a lot in class. And the other way. <laughs> Let's move our weight a little bit. Hold the hands and the other way. So again, visualizing like we're pushing something heavy out of the way. stretches to the moon so a nice stretch and we're going into a forwards bend so just keep it to wherever feels good for you so we're breathing in nice big stretch high crossing the hands and coming down into a forwards bend just to wherever feels good hands come to hips and then we're bringing the arms forwards arms are facing up we're coming to the standing and then we're just going to turn the hands and bring them down do that again, so breathing in and breathing out. Yeah, very good. Touching the floor there and all the way down. And again, nice to stretch at the end. the cheese so breathing in Changing direction is always a challenge. <laughs> that's really important because that gives you the balance, if you like, on both sides. Yeah. And that always makes you think <laughs> you get into a habit and then, oh my heavens, what am I doing? You know? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's good to do everything on both sides and um, keep both legs even, as we say. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, excellent. Well done. Thanks very much for joining us and I hope you shall uh, see any other sessions and join us again. Keep active and keep well. See you soon. Bye from Neville and me. Okay. Bye. Bye.